Oh, I left torn up the inferno support. And <laughs> Welcome to Omicron Larray. As you can see, this is the main base of my entire fleet and operations. Most of these ships have no crew upon them, and the station itself doesn't have that many people either. Well, it's got enough that it's being powered. The rules of the system are simple. There is, on any one side, nine berths for the smaller assault frigates, and that piece of asteroid, two central berths for the Infernus class heavy frigate, and obviously also for the Warmonger to dock. So, we have quite a lot of ships. Also, obviously, the Pegasus Point Defences has altered a little bit at this time. This is the older version, but obviously the, f the newer version has shrunk the frontal armour. But this is Omicron Larray. As you can see, the support carrier came back, purely so we could actually, you know, build more ships. But this is where we are. Now, people have talked about why don't I do more things with my ships, why don't I make them better or worse. The main rule of thumb that I have for the large amounts of ships is it makes it more interesting. I could build like a massive death ray system on this with like six or seven uh, lasers and probably annihilate most things. But it's more fun if it's spread out. Like two missile ships, they're a lot more fun to see die than one big ship with a lot of missiles. Because this can be wiped out, but it will get support from something on the other side. The problem is we need more heavy frontal assault ships. So we're going to get some of them on the field too, because these guys are a little bit weak. Now, with that all being said, should you build yourself a massive space station? Probably not. Probably not indeed. Who oh, is me old Mark V? Is one of you Mark IV? You're also a Mark... You're an Inferno Mark IV. Yeah, you, you still have Frigga in the name. Look at that, the old design. So, yeah, you shouldn't really have these style designs, because let's face it, they're not really useful. If you're going to build a base in the current version, there's no real point. You need something like the carrier, which can then do carrier-based things for you. This obviously be where everything is at, because the carrier is not fully crewed, carries all the resources and equipment. Now, we do have more crew and stuff available, but if I build a new ship, it's going to probably be in the grand scheme of something else I get to bring back in. Like, if I, I don't have enough crew. People are asking, why don't you have enough crew? It's because reputation is slowing it down. I could up the amount of fame I need for reputation to get more crew, but then it makes it a little bit too easy. So that's why that is a thing, and why I'm struggling with it. Now, onto the main issue. My ships do not have enough frontline combat potential. Obviously, there's the raiders I'm not really using right now. They are my... Uh, civilian assault ships. I'll be using them against targets for trying to escape. Obviously, the uh, Infernium supporters, which I'm still altering, are missile ships and they're longer range, although they are not being directly targeted. The big ones targeting are the Pegasus PDs and the Infernus Heavies. Which you are, you're fully crewed, aren't you? Yeah. Now the Infernus Heavies, of course, not been used too much lately, so I'm going to be bringing these into the front line. The Infernus Heavy is the big heavy face tanker, which we, of course, need. These guys, the Mark... Any Mark 6s parked here? Yeah, here they are. The Mark 6s, of course, are shield disruption units, but they are more used for flanking, so shield disruption isn't really their style. So what I'm going to be doing with these Mark 6s, I'm probably going to put back on the big side lasers. Because these are designed to take out targets at the rear. So the Mark 6s are, they were there to face tank, but that's only if they stay at the front. They get each other's way, but they're not there to do much damage. They are to take out rear things. So, do I have a 6 which is uh, equipped? Uh, no, no 6 equipped. Okay, let's just equip this in Furnace Mark 6 and show you what I mean. Let's transfer the crew to any of the 6s. Where are they going? Which one are they going to? Is it L? Which one are they just equipped? Okay, so they're going to this one? Yeah, it goes to this one. Good. Because suddenly has crew on it. So the side lasers need to be replaced with lasers again. That, of course, changes things. People want me to make deck cannon-based stuff. That might be interesting. But yeah, these ships are meant to be absolute annihilators for the sides and the rears of ships. They're meant to go straight through them. So these lasers are going to be where it's at. Now, again, it's not going to be the best. But now the side lasers are going to help out. This ship also has a lot more crew. Crew, of course, being quite important. Okay, let's see. 
If I do that and have you both all firing, how long does it take to re actual recharge this thing? See, the, the repairs and stuff... Oh, this, this is an old style, isn't it? I don't remember there being this much space on the inside. Did they make this smaller? It's an old Star Mark 6. This might be an old Star Mark 6. Oh, and I've torn up the Inferno supporter because it was classified as a abandoned ship. Ha! 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 Hold, please. Well, luckily the front still had like an area they could get on. I sent one guy over. I fully repaired it. Still salvaging the other pieces, because that was just absolutely bloody great. I'm a moron. Now with this, as you can see, most of the crew aren't doing anything. Actually, I'll probably turn this back on now that ship can't be killed because it's no longer classified as abandoned. Like, most of my crew aren't really doing anything, as you can see. They're moving around, they're grabbing stuff, most of the crew are going to the front laser. But I want to have this one get powers pretty easily. It used to be a problem where they had to go all the way around. I think that's why I extended it. But you've still got a couple of crew just not doing much unless they need it. So weapon fire is fine. The issue of course is optimization. This is a long walk. This too is a long walk. Now if we move this further back, that would be better for the two side lasers. So maybe I should. If we do that to there, it's still yellow. Which is a bit of an issue. Oops. Bit of an issue indeed. <laughs> now, of course, I, the further back I make it as well for this, the more problems the shields have. Because the shields are slightly more important. When they go down, they go down significantly. Some people are going, why don't you do bigger generator stuff? I could easily put a bigger generator in. It'd only be a bit more space and all that. And it'd make things charge a lot faster. But it'd also make my ships a lot more expensive. <sighs> the way I do ships is, like, there's certain prices and things to them. Oh, yeah. But I don't really want them to be too expensive for what they are and what they do. Like, the Mark VI right now is currently at 188k. That's a lot for this style of ship. 188k is a lot. Now I put one of these in. There, let's say. And then just like I'm gonna move a bed over to here, just just to, to prove a point, and then save this design. Mark 7. If I load that in now, it now looks at the price of uh where is it? It's now 211. That's, you know, that's a lot more money. An awful lot more money. It's about, let's see, 188 to 211. That's 25k. Actually, probably a bit more. About, yeah, about 25k more. That's a lot to get one of these ships running. Now, it means this ship's even more powerful and requires less, like two guys power the shields. But it also means I'm spending a lot more per ship. Like, obviously, 24 per ship's a lot. I can still roughly do it. But I'm getting more poorer. It makes the ship survive longer. It doesn't really give me much of an edge in battle, though. It doesn't really give much of an edge in battle at all. Let's just... Let's power this up, because this is where it keeps getting killed. So, I don't really know if I need this here. Now, I could obviously do... Like, a medium reactor is a good, happy compromise. Or a happy enough compromise. It's not the best compromise, but it will do for now. Now I can probably I might change my mind on that later, but it is a it will do for now situation. Anything else like that, we have to see. We'll have to see. But outside of that, yeah, there's only so much optimization I can actively do. Again, I don't do design things. If you want to build ships, I would say do them inside Creative. Because right now, I do them in this because it means it's tougher. Like, if this ship fails, as you saw, if that ship I just bloody blew up, it's going to cost me. If it didn't creative, that would never happen. So doing it this way makes it tougher, and also makes you feel a bit more like a hero. Become a G-Round hero today. Play new and exciting alpha or early access release games, two released every week. Leave a review, 
and you can win awesome prizes. Link in the description below. That info again, two free games for four weeks. That's eight games at any one time. Some good, some amazing, some needing testing. Try them, test them, review them, and maybe win awesome prizes like a Switch. Who knows, it could be you. Wasn't that a completely awesome and unexpected segue? Thank you for that sponsorship, by the way. That's going to go towards food. I love eating food. If you've made it here, tell me what your favourite food is down below. And we can have a discussion about food. But if you watch that, please, please, please watch that so they give me more money for food. I love food. Anyway, back to the shipbuilding. So, yeah, I can optimise this to heck easily. And probably more so. Like, it cha I can delete more stuff. I can make it faster. We obviously need a bit more armour on the sides. But what we need is longer range death, and the biggest problem we have is nothing can take the frontal firepower. Currently they're targeting my missile supporters, but I'm not targeting them, so we need more tougher things on the front. So the heavy frigates probably have to take the role of the tanker. So this needs to be more juicy in the eyes of murder, and I think the Infernus frigate is. The problem is... Ah, it, it probably does actually need two large heavy uh, generators. Because this, let's face it, needs to be a target. But the shields go down fast. So if I do this, actually, I'm going to have to extend it a bit more. If I do that, it actually won't fit in very well. I built this to make it fit and I'm going to have to destroy it. Oh no. But you know, there are things I can do. The big one being, I can move these over. Like that. And then I can put, let's see, you go down to there, then you go to there, like that, there we go. I can still afford it, just. Very just. But yeah, it's getting towards an okay stage. Not a good stage, but an okay stage. And that's what I have to do. Because obviously this ship very much needs to be able to kill targets fast or take the hits. Now, a single dual laser system is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. But it keeps the targets going. As you see here, there's still a few issues. We obviously need the gunnery crew to still be gunnery and crewy. So yeah, you guys go there. Optimization will never truly stop. Never truly stop. Wait, no, you guys should be red shirts. You guys should be purple shirts. There we are. No, you should be purple shirts. See, this is the issue. Everyone up here should actually have a job. Everyone down here should not. So you guys should be here. Yeah, these guys should be here, but then there's no one down below. Oh, issues. Actually, yeah, I think you guys actually should be doing that. There we are. So there we go. So I have a uh, crewman running that. No, perfect. So, yeah. As you can see, the energy is still weirdly an issue. Very weirdly an issue. Very odd. I think the issue now is it needs less crew. So maybe building a bigger reactor on my ships would be better. Because I would need less crew upon them. But that's, again, a problem. And also more expense. And that's the issue. Again, it's expense. Let's just briefly move you back down to here. Put a big reactor onto you. Still just afford it, that's surprising. So I do that. I don't know. This feels expensive. This feels very expensive. But if I do it right now, like see it may need less crew moving? Uh, crew is still highly active. This might be more useful. Obviously, the crew is now more powered up. As you can see at the back, there's less crew moving 
once it's all sorted out. So maybe this generation is the generation I'm after, but it's still difficult to decide because I still want the shape. I still want the shape, and this area here is still the weakest point ever. So yeah. Oh, decision. Let me let me quickly check something. Now there's a big thing on my ship, which I like to call what's the role, what's the goal. Obviously, some of my ships have undefined roles, like the uh, main ships, the uh, frigates were originally a frontline assault force. But I still need them to be a frontline assault force, there'll be two types. There'll be the shield breakers who support what the uh, heavies, and there'll be the uh, flankers, which are obviously hit the sides. Now we obviously have this guy, which is a sniper. Now, I'm so poor, or it's so far away, I think it's just so, f yeah, it's just so far away because all the stuff's over here. They can't actually put this into practice, but as you can see, it's now a three shot. I'm debating a five shot. Yeah, a five shot railgun. A four shot railgun. Why do I go to five from three? I'm an idiot. Now, this is obviously going to be designed with no shields in mind because this is meant to be a longer range fighter ship. Whether it actually survives, actually, the other longer range ship keeps getting shot, a different matter entirely. But it should be able to hit targets from outside their range. Now, do I want two of these? I kind of want two of these down the centre. So, in reality, what I want is, yes, yeah, straight down this, go there, there you go, boop, like that. And that should give me a good long range assault ship. Maybe. Maybe. It's really hard to say. Now, I kind of want these... Gener I kind of don't really want these here, but I still need them to be doing stuff. So, we're going to have side thrusters here and here, and they should hopefully be the same. It gives me a big open walkway down the side. But, again, it's a bit of an issue, because obviously the reactor will be at the back. And this entire ship is now dependent on ammo, which is even worse. So I mean, I do want that to be there. I want ammo is going to be an issue. Ammo is going to be an issue. Yeah, ammo is going to be a problem. A big problem. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So maybe two ammo storages down here. Because then you have to cross through to actually give power to it. Oh dear. So it's not the best design I've ever done, at all, but it's still a design. <laughs> so I might have to give this a field test. So now we have a long-range sniper-based ship. Now obviously in a real fight this would be absolutely useless because it would be picked off pretty quickly. I also think I'm very, 114. I'm going to have to go shopping. I'm going to have to go shopping to build one of these. I actually don't have enough uranium at all. But yeah, we now have a longer range sniper vessel. Give me a few seconds to actually build the bloody thing. Okay, we've built it up and I'm starting to uh, supply an orbit. I'm running out of crew. I'm having to transfer crew from all sorts of weird positions. But this is now a currently active uh, 16 person ship. I also had to put a second cockpit on it because two and one wasn't enough. I've moved the reactor forward so the crew aren't best placed. I've got enough ammo to do some field testing. Kind of. The big field test here will be how fast can it fire over and over again. So that's what we're testing now. So, he's going to auto fire. Uh, what's the range of this thing? It's pretty bloody far, actually. Okay, if the range of that is there, how far if I was... Okay, if the range of this at that section there is to that little white star, the range of you. Yeah, okay, so that'd be there. Look at that, it's a lot closer. So I've now got my sniper. So let's do a little bit of field testing. How fast can you fire and rearm? That's the big one. How fast can you fire and rearm? Okay, each shot's taking one energy. Give or take. Yeah, not, not recharging it. I think I need more crew on this thing. Okay, I got rid of the crew on the guns. We didn't need guns. This is a longer range sniper. If anything, it needs a bit more PD. doesn't need any longer range weapons. Well, then I don't think about it. Uh, no. Okay. 
Okay, I've got rid of the uh, side weapons. We don't really need them. The crew needs to be more crewing. I'm thinking maybe more crew on these things? Yeah, I think we may need a bit more crew. Obviously, this is a bit of an issue. I can actually now move these maybe to here in the, in the side bit so they have a better walkway. Yeah, I'm going to move these to here and maybe add two more crew. Give me another second. This is uh, getting interesting. Is this better? We have better walkways at least. The other two crew are about to come in. Or four crew. Okay. Uh, it's firing more now. Okay, let's actually have you guys do this. And also those, I guess. No, do, you guys do that. You guys do that. I want you two to do that there. You two to do that. There we go. So for ammo and loaders now set up. How's this looking? This looking better? It's looking okay. Okay, good. So this system works. We actually have now a working sniper ship. This has been mostly a build episode of me talking, but... I'm happy with the new design. Actually, you two should stop shooting. I'm blowing up my own ship again. Actually, all sh weapons turn off. Please, all weapons turn off. Otherwise, bad things are, in fact, going to happen. Bad things will definitely happen. Are you still shooting? You're still shooting. Okay, you actually just stopped shooting for a second. I saw that. That's not good. Not good at all. But yeah, okay. We now have the uh, Mark 7 and the... I don't know what I'm going to call this, but this one now exists too. Still the same ship style, but as you can see, we now have multiple different types. Which means it needs a new colour scheme. Because I want to be able to identify them quickly. Obviously this colour is Raiders, this colour is Frigates, this colour is Supporter. It needs style. And this colour is... I don't know. We'll figure it out. So it's mostly a build system. You've seen me build some things. I'm still not the happiest. But you get to see why I'm doing things and what my actual creed is. And my creed is... Lots of ships. Send in the numbers. Let's get some fighters out here on the field too. Those four-man fighters. If I get some more reactor cores. Maybe I should do some more piracy. Bring the rest of the uh, forces back. Get some piracy on. What do you guys think? 